It is time for Owning Your Outdoors, and today we are going to talk about something that uh, we knew was coming. It was just a matter of when, and now we've found that it's finally in Minnehaha County. It's the Emerald Ash Borer. Doug Schroeder, our lawn and garden guru from Lewis, is here. Doug, uh, this has been something that we've been anticipating for a long while. It's been moving west from Wisconsin, Minnesota. What is it exactly? Actually, it's, uh, it was brought in accidentally from Asia. It is uh, actually a jewel beetle, and uh, it... Uh, thrives on eating um, ash trees, the bark on ash trees, laying their larva within the bark, and it act eventually kills the tree. So how do we know if our tree has the emerald ash borer? A couple things to look for. First of all, is called blonding. Uh, you'll see the outer bark of the tree starting to uh, disappear. It turns a lighter color. A lot of woodpecker activity. Woodpeckers thrive on eating the larva from uh, the emerald ash borer. So if you have a lot of woodpeckers within the tree, you see some things going on with the bark. Uh, lastly, canopy die off. That's another sign of uh, having emerald ash borer. Although I want to stress, canopy die off can be from other reasons. The tree could just be stressed too. So if our tree has it, pretty much done? Pretty much. If it has it, uh, yes, there are some things you can do to uh, prolong the life of the tree, but um, it uh, is a good time to really evaluate the trees you have in your yard. Maybe you don't need as many ash. Maybe it's time to thin some of them out. Uh, choose the trees you want to protect. What about trees that don't have it yet? Is there anything we can do to prevent this from happening? Yes. The, number, the best way is to contact an arborist and um, have them actually uh, uh, do a treatment where they drill into the bark of the tree and insect, inject an insecticide. That'll go throughout the whole tree and protect the tree. Uh, what we carry is called a drench, where you actually do a, a trough around the tree within one foot of the trunk of the tree and drench that area. The roots absorb it and pull it up through the tree. And that will stop the emerald ash borer from really wanting to be on your tree? It prevents it and usually is more effective on smaller trees. If you have a large ash tree, probably not going to be real effective. You probably want to contact an arborist on that. So something you touched on and I want to talk a little more about is uh, diversifying. Diversifying. I want to stress to people, you know, anytime that we've had a lot of one type of tree or anything, you're inviting pestilence or disease into that area. Uh, you know, this happened years ago with Dutch Elm and look what happened with that disease. And now we have the emerald ash borer. If you're planting trees, diversify. Don't do all maple, which I see a lot of people doing in the new areas of town. I got three of them in my yard. Yep, they're a beautiful tree, beautiful fall color. But maybe plant one maple and then a couple other different types of tree within your yard. Make it a mix, diversify, yes. So you have some uh, good examples here. Yes, uh, trees that I recommend is maybe going with an elm. The new elm are actually descendants of trees that survived the Dutch uh, elm disease. So these are really resistant to Dutch elm or some other diseases. So they're a good tree to uh, consider. I like this one too. My personal favorite, green spire linden, beautiful leaves on the tree, great shape to that tree. Uh, great addition to anybody's yard. I, this is my personal recommendation. And um, also if you have other questions, we have information, but also contact the South Dakota uh, State of, um, Department of Agriculture. They have some great information online. And we're going to put some links on our website. And we have, I know you prepared a nice uh, sheet of information to help with the, uh, the emerald ash borer. You can find it at ksfy.com. Just click Sean and Cammie, Owning Your Outdoors, and it's all right there. Nice little download for you. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Sean. Some uh, helpful stuff. We have to take a break. We're going to be back. Fastcast is coming up next.